everyone. In this video, we will discuss how we calibrate the load cell for studying its characteristics. Load cell is a sensor which converts force into measurable electrical output. Although there are many varieties of a force sensor, strain gauge load cells are most commonly used to type. So strain gauge is an electrical device made from a material whose uh, resistance changes with the strain. So these materials are used in the load cells to provide the electrical output in response to the load. To do sensor calibration, we use strain gauge load cell where the load is applied through a weighing balance. So it is connected to the transducer trainer kit where the applied load is converted into corresponding electrical quantity. So the calibration is the process of configuring instrument to provide a result within the acceptable range. So for example, let the minimum load applied be 0 kg and the maximum load applied be 1 kg. First, we have to find out the voltage values corresponding to the minimum and maximum load applied. Let it be V0 and V1. Then we have to assign a span of desired output voltage. That is, I require 0 voltage for this 0 kg and 1 voltage for this 1 kg. Accordingly, we have to calculate the gain. So the gain formula is G span equal to 1 minus 0 divided by V1 minus V0. Here, this V1 and V0 are the initial values of voltages we got from the load cells and 1 and 0 are the desired values. This uh, uh, gain is set using the span adjustment part in the kit. After setting the gain, if we check for 0 kg, we will get 0 voltage and for 1 kg, we will get 1 voltage. After that, we have to take the readings by applying weight gradually to find its characteristics. Now we will see how the experiment is done in the laboratory. Now we are going to see load cell experiment. This is a load cell interface given to us. The maximum is 1 kg and this is a load cell. Uh, we have to keep it in a tension range. One is a tension side, other one is a compression side. We have to keep the tension up. That's why if we give tension uh, based upon our tension, we will get the output as voltage. Uh, this is a load cell interface to the kit. So you have connected it. This is load cell. They have interfaced the input and output here. This A and C, they have already given the input. Uh, it will be having 8 to 9 volt of voltage of input here and B and D is our output. So I am connecting this B and D terminal to a instrumentation amplifier. This is not grounded, so I am grounding it. Now we have to see the full load and uh, no load condition of an instrumentation amplifier. Then we have to calculate again, based upon our gain, we are going to calibrate it. So for now, uh, for no load condition, we are getting minus 9.5 millivolt. We have to note down this, we are getting minus 9.5 millivolt for no load condition. Now I am keeping the full load of 1 kg here. For 1 kg, my output is minus 5.8. Note down the full load and no load voltage here. Then we can calculate the gain. So we got for full load, minus for full load it is 5.8, minus 5.8 and for no load it is minus 9.5. For 0 kg we got minus 9.5 millivolt and for 1 kg we got minus 5.8 millivolt. This is the actual reading we got and I am going to calibrate this load cell to the value uh, 0 for 0 kg I need 0 volt and for 1 kg I need 1 volt. This is my calibration value. So based upon this value I am going to calculate the gain. So for calculating the gain in the numerator we have to put our full load minus no load of our assumed value and in the denominator full load minus no load of the actual value which we got. So here, so here we assumed 1 volt for 1 kg that is our full load. 
uh, it is in terms of voltage and the value which we got is in the millivolt so i am writing this also in range of millivolt so 1000 1000 millivolt minus 0 full load minus no load of our assumed value divided by what i actually got for 1 kg and what i actually got for 0 kg the difference so minus 5.8 minus minus 9.5 so minus into minus it became plus here the value uh, through this we got is 270 this is our gain so our gain is 270 so i am going to connect this instrumentation amplifier output to a two stage amplifier if you have if you if our gain is less than 10 we can directly connect to a zero span uh, and uh, through this pop so the gain which we got is 270 so i am connecting the instrumentation amplifier output to a two stage amplifier if our gain is less than 10 we can directly connect to a zero span we can directly connect to the zero span and through this gain uh, pot we can set the gain maximum only 10 we can set here so our gain is more than 10 so i am moving to a two stage amplifier the output of a two stage amplifier i am connecting to a zero span so now we have to set the gain the gain always gets multiply multiplies so i am setting the maximum of 10 here here also 10 so 10 into 10 it will be 100 and in this spot i am set at 2.70 so 100 into 2.70 270 that is what the gain which we got so i have set it 270 gain okay this zero span pot is for adjusting the uh, error value okay so now i will check what is output and we will adjust for the calibrated value so for knowing the output i have connected the multimeter positive to the output of a zero span and negative to the ground for no load condition now we are getting the output 239 uh, millivolt now i am adjusting the zero span to make this uh, 239 millivolt to zero because for no load for zero voltage we need zero millivolt So I have set it for 0, it, uh, it is not exactly uh, 0, so it is minus 0 0.5 millivolt I have set it. This is an offset error, we can take it. Okay. This is our tabulation, we have to note down the applied load, displayed load, instrumentation amplifier output, amplified output voltage and through this we have to calculate a error percentage. So for applied load, both load condition and unload condition we have to check it load and unload condition is for zero we have set it zero and we are going to increase each weight and uh, we have to unload each weight and we have to note down in the unload column so we need to take instrumentation amplifier output and amplified output voltage at the same time so i have connected two multimeters one for instrumentation amplifier the first one i have connected to a instrumentation amplifier output and the second is the uh, amplified output voltage that is the output of a zero span so through this we are going to note down the reading for zero voltage sorry for zero kg we got instrumentation amplifier output as minus 9.1 and here we have to adjust it zero span we have to set to minus 0 0.5 we are we are, we are uh, not able to set zero so instead of that we are going to set some nearest value to zero so it is so for amplified output voltage we got 0 0.5 so now i have set it 200 i have added 200 gram for 200 gram we are getting the instrumentation amplifier as minus 8.4 and the amplified output voltage as 214.8 millivolt so for full load uh, I am getting 1.074 for loading condition we have taken 1.074 we have uh, it has uh, taken now we are going to unload it and we are going to take the reading so I have 200 so I have taken 200 gram now from the uh, kg so it is 800 gram now for 800 I am getting uh, 856 millivolt So now for 600 unloading, for 600 millivolt we have got 643 
मिली वोल्ट सो अट लास्ट दीज आर द रीडिंग्स विच वी गॉट एम्प्लीफयर आउटपुट वोल्टेज लोडिंग एंड लोडिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्प्लीफयर लोडिंग एंड लोडिंग एंड दिस डिस्प्लेड लोड इज सेम द एम्प्लीफयर आउटपुट वोल्टेज आई हैव रिटन इन ग्राम सो आई हैव रिटन इट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिली वोल्ट आई हैव रिटन हियर सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राम्स आई हैव रिटन हियर फॉर टू हंड्रेड ग्राम आई गॉट टू वन फोर पॉइंट एट ग्राम फॉर टू हंड्रेड ग्राम फॉर अनलोडिंग आई गॉट टू ट्वेंटी फोर लाइक दैट फॉर अप्लाइड लोड एंड डिस्प्लेड लोड through the amplified output voltage we can write the displayed load as our amplified output voltage and displayed load are uh, equal for zero we have set it zero and for 1 kg we have set it 1 volt so based upon that we can write both as same so through this value for finding the error we have to calculate through applied load minus displayed load divided by applied load into 100 Applied load minus displayed load divided by applied load into hundred. For both loading and unloading, we have to find out the error and we have to draw the graph. This is the output of a load cell.